The Milkman is here to deliver more than just milk, while also complaining about some eyes not being with the times. In short, we're talking dairy today, everyone. It is a lesser used food type for sure, with some quite obscure mechanics behind it, which makes it just perfect for a potential quick bit, don't you think? So from butterflies to literal eyes, don't blink or you'll miss it. But miss out on what exactly, Beard? Why bother with dairy products at all, especially when those butterflies you mentioned won't even drop butter half the time. Well, that's one of the reasons we're here today. As you're right, a mere 2% chance is not gonna cut it. If you do get a stick or two, however, you can choose to munch on them straight away for a 25 hunger and 40 whopping health a pop, or they can go into three butter-specific crockpot recipes. And yes, you heard that right. Out of the five dairy dishes in this game, over half of them require butter, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. But whatever the case may be, I'm still still hungry, so thankfully waffles can fill us up with their 37.5 hunger, 60 health, and 5 sanity stat restorations, but if we do want to get a bit fancy with it and start throwing in some other rather underutilized foodies, we can get something like lobster dinner with butter instead. So enjoy the 37.5 hunger again, 52.5 if you're Maxwell mind, 50 sanity this time, and 60 health returned to us with each bite, which is pretty darn insane considering just how easy it is to catch lobsters. But finally, get super fancy with the Warley, and the elusive and exclusive fresh fruit crepe can be yours as well. 150 hunger, 165 if you're west, just to add insult to injury, 15 sanity, and yet another 60 health per crepe. All three recipes are incredible, but they're all pretty worthless without butter. As heck, not even electric milk can replace the stuff at the end of the day. But speaking of, it's our second source of dairy for the day that just so happens to have two sources itself. So if you fancy 12.5 hunger, 10 sanity, and 3 health to slurp, you best find your volt goat herds as soon as possible, as source number 2 of electric milk is gonna be a bit trickier. Now the goats here will have to be charged beforehand, so electric dart and morning stars will be your best friends. Oh, and don't forget to shield yourself from the incoming shocks with some rain gear too. But what's that option number two here, you ask? Ah yes, a Winter's Feast Clause. During this event, an event that we can now turn on and off at will, mind you, his loot stash will always drop a package full of electric milks, so do with that information as you please. And what will we be doing with it, you ask? Well, shockingly little, if I'm honest. Yeah, sure, the stuff can now go into charging WX-78 directly with each sip, or they could be used for their electrification circuit here to provide knockback damage to anything that hits them at 30, 60, and 90 health a hit, but Electric Mill doesn't actually have any specific crockpot dish to offer us. Not after the introduction of Milky Whites, that is. Added during the somewhat recent Terraria crossover event, these things are garbage by their lonesome, as you can see. However, they might just be the best bits that dairy has to offer us nowadays. Or are they? Because here's the thing, while Milky Whites can indeed replace electric milk and butter in a couple dairy recipes, Milky Whites still cannot take the full place of butter if you know what I mean. So then, what's the point? Well, they might just make getting ice cream a bit easier, so be sure to enjoy the 25 hunger and 50 sanity a scoop alongside a slight but abusable temperature change here and there. Or you can combine them with a bunch of other extra nonsense found in this game for the milkmaid hats. At the cost of a sanity drain for all but Wirt and Maxwell pretty much, you will enjoy roughly 3.9 hunger restored every 5 seconds over the course of 4 minutes, totaling 187.5 hunger per hat. That's not bad. And finally, an actual Milky White specific craft is that of the friendly peeper here, gotten via the rock den and some bacon and eggs. Now it doesn't really do anything like most other critters in this game, but still, it's surprisingly adorable for being a frickin' floating eyeball at the end of the day. And speaking of exactly that, we need to talk the Eye of Terror before the day is done, otherwise all them Milky Whites are gonna mean absolutely nothing. Somewhere out there in your forest biomes is the conspicuous chest set piece containing the terrarium. So find it, activate said terrarium, and the fight will be on. 
Now the boss boasts 5,000 health, which is a pool that's rather average for a non-raid boss in this game, 62.5 damage per hit, minions even, and a charging ability that can get dangerous come in second phase. That said, even without speed boost, the thing is highly dodgeable, but every bit will help for sure. The biggest component of this fight, however, are the peepers. In phase one, all it will spawn is one peeper, but we'll have to juggle two and the boss later on, so the potential to get overwhelmed is certainly there. So bring a pan flute just in case, and use it to eliminate them to give you a breather or anything else you need. Other than that, just note how the eye will enter phase 2 once it's below 3,250 health and will now charge multiple times per attack. So dodge it, sleep it, and get some extra hits when it's spawning in its minions, and I think you'll be golden. Good luck, and enjoy 3 to 5 milky whites per kill. Hence this whole segment here. But one last thing to bear in mind. These kills we're mentioning might have us waiting 15 days between them. But with a bit of tweaking within the settings, we can reduce that down to five. So there you go. Not bad. And I suppose that summarizes dairy for me. It's just not bad, folks. Don't get me wrong. It is quite accessible and has some amazing uses. However, with half of it tied to butter and butter alone, it kind of just gets put on the back burner. If we can mix and match milk, butter, and milky whites at will, considering they're all dairy of course, just imagine the changes to day to day meal prep. We would suddenly have varied enough choices for sanity restorations for even meat eaters, top notch healing foods that also just so happen to be pretty darn cheap, unique play styles would become less forgettable, and plenty more. Just see what adding bananas to the surface did for the entire game if you're not following me here. But oh well, perhaps one day am I right? But thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, forgive me those who happen to be lactose intolerant out there, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!